The holidays are generally a cheerful time, but the pandemic is changing that for some. According to a new Centre for Addiction and Mental Health survey, nearly one in four Canadians are experiencing heightened levels of anxiety and are binge drinking. A Toronto mom of two shares her struggle during what should be a happy time what schooling is going to look like come January and as well what that means for, for work. I'm concerned and I really, really will be very happy the day that my parents get vaccinated. My dad is elderly. He has COPD, so he's very much at risk of catching COVID. There are a number of reasons Canadians are feeling anxious right now. Financial uncertainty. Many people in, in previous surveys have also talked about feeling anxious about getting COVID itself. CAMH surveyed 1,003 adults right before we entered holiday season. The survey found nearly a quarter of women reported feeling depressed occasionally or most of the time, higher than men at 19%. Previous surveys, including this one, found parents with children under 18 in the same household reported higher levels of anxiety than those without younger kids. Women have traditionally more... Uh, roles in terms of the raising of children. There's more instability in terms of employment which disproportionately affect women. I also personally believe that women tend to be more honest and forthright about these surveys. Another disturbing finding, more than one in four Canadians have been binge drinking, an unhealthy way of coping. And as the pandemic continues, it might be harder to stop, according to the Canadian Centre on Substance Use and Addiction. What are the signs that you're overdoing it? Alcohol is increasingly getting in the way of your life. Um, so again, you, you might be getting feedback from the people around you that you're drinking too much. You might find that you need to drink more to get the, the, same, uh, the same effect. While this Toronto mom says she doesn't struggle with alcohol abuse, she does have an eating disorder. Erin Sutherland is trying to keep her anxiety in check through online therapy, but it's a challenge. It doesn't quite feel the same uh, as that sort of in-person support. And I don't have the support of my family. I don't have my sister. I don't have my mother. You know, I don't have that sort of uh, sort of village to help me with my kids. If you're struggling with anxiety and don't have access to therapy, you can head on over to Association of Family Health Teams of Ontario, where you can download a free therapy program. And if you're dealing with drug or alcohol abuse, you can go to Connects Ontario to find out how you can get more help. Both websites are on our screen.